Good morning world. Yes, I know I'm looking crazy. My hair is a hot mess, but it's my first day off in the last 10 days. I woke up at around nine o'clock. I've been laying in my bed watching YouTube, watching uh, meal prepping, watching workouts because yes, I have to fix my nail today. Um, with this whole nine day stretch, it really messed me up and I was like, I cannot work 10 hour days and be gone from my house for 11 hours for nine days straight and then still have time for the gym and meal prep and all that. Like I fell off the wagon like atrociously. I feel like if you are a person that has been going to the gym and has had this routine for many, many years, you're not used to it. It's whatever, but you can not, it's, it's unrealistic to expect somebody to work 11 hours and like be gone for half the day from their house and then still have time for gym and workouts and all this stuff. Like it's completely unrealistic, but I just have to go to the gym this week. That's it. That's all I have to worry about. That's all I'm going to worry about. Oh God, this hair really is like not helping me. Um, anyways, guys, I feel like today I'm just going to be a vlog style day. I'll bring you along the day with me and see what I get into. I definitely need to get my nails fixed. I definitely need to do some meal prepping and I need to go visit my mom because she got hurt and I want to bring her some lunch or something and help her with whatever she needs um, and then later tonight maybe hang out with some of my friends because I haven't seen anybody in a long time because I've just been working. Anywho, and if you didn't know, my name is Leti Rincon and welcome to my channel. So since my mom got hurt, I made her some <clears throat> brunch. I smashed some beans and then I chopped up uh, mushrooms, added some spinach, and then I blended some tomato and garlic, and then I chopped some red green onion, and I threw it in there. So I'm making her, and then I'm putting this in the oven to kind of give you that crunchy tostada feel. So I'm making her mushroom and bean tostadas. Uh, since I'm having her eat more of a plant-based like me today, this is what she's gonna get. Normally, I'm not a mushroom person, but these mushrooms are actually pretty freaking bomb. I picked them up last night from the grocery store, and I was inspired by just wanting to eat healthier, and uh, that's what we're gonna go with today. I just got out of the shower, so while I blow dry my hair, I blow dried my hair. I let my primer and my moisturizer kind of you know get into my skin I'm probably I don't know I am in a time crunch so I won't be recording every little thing I'm just gonna skip to a lot of the stuff you guys know how to do your eyebrows I'm sure by now if you don't you just gotta line up especially with the brow is just line up around your brows and you're good Now, because I am in a time crunch, I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot to my hair. I'm going to have to straighten it, but I'm not going to straighten it like super flat laced straight because I don't like that look. I'm just going to like use my straightener and just kind of curl the ends a little bit just to give it a little bit of a wave. Not like a beach wave or anything because that you need an actual wand or like a curling iron, like the slim end of it. This is the only thing of my part, this is the only part of my hair that I don't like. This weird little like, I don't know, it's just weird, but the rest I love. Anyways, moving on. So for that CC cream, this is in the shade. I don't know if they have shades. Actually, it's medium tan. Literally, I used one pump, okay? One pump. It's kind of a big pump. And then of the NARS. I shake it real good and then I add one pump actually no two pumps of that one then I grab my beauty blender I mix them up and I start applying I'm not gonna do it a lot with my eyes because again I'm in a time crunch told my friend I'd meet at six it's already past five I still gotta do my hair. I mean, the NARS foundation is already like a luminizing foundation and the CC cream is a luminizing one. So you can only imagine how 
illuminating our skin is going to be looking like tonight. I'm looking bright right now. Maybe I put on a little too much concealer. I mean, there are people that don't think that there's such a thing as too much concealer, but trust me, boo, <laughs> there is. I'm going to use my Fornication palette because I use it all the time. And for the kind of look that I'm trying to do right now, this is gonna be perfect. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. I believe that's the shade necessary. Tap the excess product just lightly, like dab it all over the lid and right around here where the crease is. Oh dang, I almost didn't step my concealer. I need to step my concealer before I move any further because I don't want to be creasing. Surprise, surprise, Laura Mercier. I don't have anything else that I'm typically or that I'm really loving or going to go with what we already know we love and adore. Okay, guys, so today I went and got new running shoes from the Nike outlet. The outlet store here in town. You guys, this pair of running shoes is so freaking cute. And because it's a clearance store, everything is usually on clearance or like super marked down. What the? Okay, I'm putting way too much of this. Anyway, so this clearance store, there we go. This clearance store always has some bomb deals. And let me tell you, I should probably put some right about here. Because I'm sitting pretty much everywhere. Okay, so guys, I got these pair of Nikes running shoes. These are like the closest thing to your barefoot, and you can run indoor and outdoor. Normally, a shoe like that is going to range about seventy to eighty dollars. They were marked down to thirty nine ninety nine, and in addition to, they were thirty percent off. So I got them for like twenty seven dollars and ninety nine cents, and I was like, yes. If they would have had more colors, I would have gotten another pair, but they didn't. Um, if you guys don't know about the I'm just dipping into my forever suede uh, suede W dual finish uh, bronzer from Lancome. I've been trying, I've been wanting to try different brushes because I feel like sometimes your brushes get old even if you, after you wash them and then they don't like, they don't perform the same after so many washes. I don't know. I wonder if I need to dim this down a little bit. Anywho, guys, so I felt super lucky to have found those shoes because I really need running shoes. I've been using my shoes to the gym, the shoes that I wear for work, and it's, like, kind of not vibing with me to do that because that's just kind of kind of gross in a way. I don't know. All right. And then we're going to put that same shade, that necessary shade, under the eye here not too crazy you don't want to get too smoky too too much yes i'm really excited about those shoes so i'm going to use this weird crazy big fluffy brush and kind of like uh, remove any leftover powder from the face i'm going to use this brush right here it's just a flat brush and I'm going to add a little bit of this color called Game Over. It's kind of glittery and super dark. And I just want it for kind of creating like almost like a wing line. But just right here on the edge. Just like that. Smoke out that little corner here. This is like my lazy girl. Like this is like, I want to do a smoky eye, but I don't really have time for a smoky eye. Yeah, that's what I do. I actually haven't done this in a really long time. There was a point in my life where this is like the only type of makeup I would ever do. But with different product, obviously, like not this stuff. And 
it's cool. Like, I like it. You can obviously do it with whatever color you desire. Um, personally, though, it's cute when you do it with, like, those dark colors, like a really, really dark gray or, like, a black or... The one that I used to, like, never put down was Max Carbon, that black one. That was my jam. I'm also going to set setting spray. Well, actually, I'm going to put a little bit of blush on because I'm feeling a little, a little washed out with this. I put too much concealer on today, I think. And, and use that same necessary shade and put maybe a little more right here in the crease. Then I'm going to get a Morphe brush and then I'm going to go in with this shade right here. And this shade is called Churro. And I'm going to put it right here just on the outer corner right there and bring it in about halfway through my eye. Because that will give it definitely more depth. And just smoke it out. Like that. There is this tart blush that I really, really enjoy. It's in the shade Feisty. I also like to put it up here, right here. In the middle, kind of give it that like little blush effect. I gotta go back and contour my nose because I haven't done that. I'm just gonna use a flat, like a dense brush, like this. And I didn't even have any idea of what kind of look I was going for until uh, two seconds ago. Don't forget the double chin. If you have one. If you don't, good for you. <laughs> Myself in this all nighter spray, you guys already know this is the only thing I use. I never thought I was. I never thought the day where I replace MAC Fix Plus would come, but this right here leaves MAC Fix Plus in the dust. If you disagree with me, that's totally okay. I am not offended by it. To each is own. For the lip, we're gonna wear, we're gonna use the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and the shade Total Taupe. I'm just gonna lightly under or outline the lips, slightly overlined. Nothing crazy. I can feel you judging me for not wearing highlighter, but that's okay. I'm not wearing highlighter because this foundation is already so luminous that trust me, you don't need it. I, mean, I know that there's a lot of you out there that think that the more highlight the best i'm really not in that place in my life right now where i need to have highlight all over my face then i'm going to use nude chica by dose of color and i love sara e collaboration Shit, this is my favorite nude. I wear this nude all the time. Good job, Karen. Good job. And those of colors, of course. Then I'm gonna pop in some mascara and maybe some falsies. We'll see. We'll see what happens. And yes, I'm going to wear my usual uh como se llama? Climax. Climax by NARS. Girl bye. I might have to wear glass, wear fake lashes, but we'll see. Now, don't judge me on this hair technique right now because 
I don't have a lot of time. If I had more time, I just basically split it basically more than half the middle. I just kind of do like a midway ponytail right above my ears. <sighs> I am already wearing heat protector. Um, I put it on when my hair was like somewhat damp. So I grab somewhat of a big chunk, like right about here. I first run it through a couple times and then I go like this and then I just simply let it go. So it just gives you like a little bit of a, you know, wave. I'm going to go through and break it them up later because I don't, I don't look like, I don't like them to be tight because I'm not going to a dang quinceanera, you know what I'm saying? This is my lazy girl, like I gotta get to work or I gotta get somewhere, but I don't wanna have just weird straight ass hair. Same thing, pass it on. Oh wait. Fold it in. Let it go. Um, that's the my lazy ass hair. Routine. Yeah, that's basically, that's it. If you have more time, you could probably split it one more time. I don't really have time, but I'm gonna make the time. So then you split off like this little, I don't know, I think this is called a crown. I don't know, I don't really, like I don't do hair, so like I am really not a hair guru here, but. Then I do the same thing to the side. If you have a wand, you can do that with a wand and actually like make them more look better to get actually give you like an actual beach wave. But I don't have time for the wand because with the wand, you have to be more careful. I don't have time to do, I don't, I just don't have time for the wand right now. And then, depending on whether you want to split your hair this way or you want to split it down the middle, I normally do some, normally split it right here. Depends on the mode that I'm in or sometimes it's more to this side. I don't know. I don't really give a damn right now. Straighten them and do that same loop thing here. Yeah, this isn't the technique that I that I'm proud of. This is just a technique that's like ooh, it's gonna get me out of here super quick. This is about it. Then you can um, spray some hairspray or whatever. If you don't like that split, then you can break it up and part it the other way. It's still gonna be like not curly, not straight, just somewhere in between. I am basically done right now. I still have to go get dressed and get some accessories on and all that. I'll check in with you in a few minutes. I ended up parting it in the middle and this is kind of what it looks like. Um, and literally it took me like six minutes to get this done, guys. Maybe even less. Um, I know it's not the cutest, not the most perfect look, but for being a few minutes of your day this is effortless looking you know what i mean hey guys so i've picked out a shirt it's a bodysuit that i got from uh fashion nova about a year ago it's just black some gold earrings i did not wear lashes because i don't have time i like literally have to run out of here i'll bring you guys along with me and maybe try out some of the 
some of the distillery um, little flight shots. Um, and I'll show you guys my full outfit right now in a second. So this is the full outfit. I'm wearing my black pumps. I'm wearing those pants that I did on my last fashion haul from Fashion Nova. This entire outfit is from Fashion Nova except for the shoes. Very all black, very um, casual, dressy type of vibe. And I've thrown in a leather jacket um, to jazz it up a little bit. And I'm about to get my purse. And we out. Oh, this looks so good. Mm. Okay, guys, so this is called the flight. They have a mixture of drinks. I'm not exactly what all it is, but it's, some of them is coconut. This is like some sort of Moscow meal of some sort. This is some sort of coconut, like martini status, something. I will get the names later, but they look bomb. And they're tiny. They're not like full glass. They're not like a full on glass. But I just want to try them out. Hey guys, so I was <laughs> trying to edit and I realized I didn't have an outro. So I'm doing it right now. Um, I just got back from this distillery with my best friend and we were just discussing life, talking about, you know, trips and things that we want to accomplish and trips we want to be making this year and fitness and all kinds of stuff. And then I realized that I haven't mentioned to you guys the shows that I've been watching. I know that the other day I mentioned that I was watching you on Netflix. It's an original Netflix, orig Netflix original. And it was a great show. The ending definitely surprised me. And it looks like they're going to have another season. From what I understood. Anyway, um, another show that I just recently started getting into. And it was actually uh, suggested by one of my subscribers. Um, so, um, Travelers. It's the one that was uh, suggested to me by her. So, Travelers is a show kind of. I don't want to say about aliens, but it's these beings that take over the bodies of people that are dying, right? And right before they die, they like basically take over your body and then it resets a clock and then it's them, but they still have kind of like your memories a little bit, but they're trying to save the world. Um, it's not typically something that I would be like oh let me get into this but it was suggested to me by her and she was really excited about it so I decided to give it a shot and I actually ended up liking it because it's really intriguing and it's not like anything I've ever watched before and it's not like some weird corny alien thing like it's actually really a good show um another show that I've watched before obviously you know friends is like a must uh sex and city Grey's Anatomy uh, Game of Thrones, but one show that I had been watching, um, I started watching last year is, uh, Insecure and it's on HBO. If you're a young girl in your thirties, Insecure is going to be a show that you're going to want to watch. It is super just, it's just a modern girl, like going through modern day life. And I, I'm very, I can relate to her so much on so many levels. So for me, it's a show that I'm super obsessed with. There are only three seasons. Yes, there are only three seasons of Insecure. Pretty sure there's three. Um, and I'm here for it. Issa Rae is hilarious. She has these skits where she's rapping in front of the mirror and it's just so funny i love it i love 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 Issa ray and i love her show like that show is everything and those are just some of the shows that i wanted to talk to you guys about um just make sure you if whenever you, if and when you get a chance um give them a shot they're really really great this is a movie i've realized that i've never told you guys what my ultimate for a movie is and it's really hard to pin it down to just one but if I had to choose one movie that is my all-time favorite, and I'm only basing it of basing it off of the fact that I've watched this movie so many times that I can quote every word in that movie is the movie Clueless. I know, right? So the movie Clueless came out in the mid '90s. It's with Alicia Silverstone and uh, Stacey Dash. There are these girls from Southern California, um, the Valley. And 
this movie is everything. This movie is literally what really captivated why I love makeup and why I love fashion and getting dressed up and just everything about this movie I love and I love the message that it gives. Um, if you've never watched it, oh my god, like, please watch it. Like, I know it looks weird in previews or if you've never watched it and you've only heard of it, don't judge it without watching it. Like, that movie is literally the best movie ever. Like, I just, it really defines a lot of girls. I don't know. I'm just, like, rambling on about fucking cool. Ask my cousins. Anybody who knows me knows that I was obsessed with that movie. I watched that movie every day after school, like every day for like ever. Even my niece loves it because of me and my sister. Like I just, I, I love it. Like I love it so much. And anybody who knows me will definitely tell you what's, let, if you ask what's Letty's favorite movie, they're going to be like, clueless girl, clueless. Anywho, uh, <laughs> I'm going to cut this video real quick. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for this weird little vlog. Get ready with me, but follow me around, but like hang out with me part of the day and discussing my movie choices and show choices. I don't know. I'm just like super rambling and I just wanted to get in front of the camera and talk to you guys. Um, yeah, so this is what my makeup came out like today. This is very Letty. This is so me. This is just like no fake lashes, some little bronzing, some little contouring, some kind of eyeliner, but kind of not. Nude lips, <sighs> always. Um, I'm very much like I, I will either wear a nude lip or a bright red lip or like lip gloss. Like that's just me. That's who I am. I love these earrings. I got them at <clears throat> Forever 21 for like $4. Don't sleep on Forever 21, y'all. Like, they've got some good stuff. Lazy girl, I can get ready in 10 minutes. This hair was literally done in like less than 10 minutes, which is great. I'm also really contemplating cutting my hair again. Like, kind of like this, this length, kind of. I don't know. But I also kind of want to grow it. Help me. Give me suggestions. Long, short, long, short. Leave a comment below. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to go to the gym tomorrow because I'm going to help my mom. So don't count on me for that tomorrow. I will just start on Monday. That's just what I'm going to do. Like, I've decided. This is what I want to do. I want to start Monday again. So don't judge me. All right, y'all. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notifications bell. And, uh... Watch the shows that I'm recommending. Hello.